According to an article posted by TMZ, Drea Michelle of Basketball Wives LA Season 4 was paid $2,500 deposit and was supposed to host a gig at the Penthouse Nightclub in Hollywood, California. On August 10th of 2014, the VIP hostess and booking agent who books most of the celebrity clientele claims that Drea did not want to host her club event anymore when she realized that the venue was full of homosexuals. Now, according to the hostess, Drea said that she didn't want to do the job. After she showed up, her security stepped inside, looked around, came back to her and informed her that the place was full of homosexuals, to which Drea allegedly referred as being the F word that they call gay people. Sounds like hag, but it starts with an F. And the D word for the lesbians, it sounds like bike, but it has a D at the beginning. Yeah, she said those words. I can't say those words on YouTube. <clears throat> Anyway, she said that she didn't want to do it anymore, then left. Now, that was the hostess take of the event. That was her alleged story. Of course, the beautiful Drea denies these claims. And according to her version of the story, not only did she not say these things at all, she didn't show up to the club that night either because she was sick. Drea also says that the club owner threatened to bash her in the media over her being a no-show. Now, there's no word on whether or not Basketball Wives LA Season 3 will be used as evidence against Drea. In one of the episodes, Drea's co-star, Jackie the Troublemaker Christie, hosted a gay and lesbian event for GLAAD. And Drea <laughs> did not show up for it. See, Jackie bullied her right around the time. Therefore, that was an easy out and a reputable excuse for Drea. Here's my opinion on the club matter. I wonder whether or not the hostess has any idea that Drea is openly bisexual. The woman, the woman went so far into her blatant lie and slander that she claimed that Drea said that she doesn't get down with the lesbians, yet Drea has salmon on her breath. Everybody knows that that girl is bi. As for these alleged homophobic comments, I have never seen drea be anything but sweet professional and act like a lady so i don't know what this chick is talking about in fact she better pray that drea doesn't sue her for defamation of character we all know that she used to allegedly date erica minna from love and hip-hop new york season five not only does she love women she snagged a fellow dime piece just saying let me know what you think about these alleged gay on gay discrimination comments below and be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channel visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com i have the tmz video posted up there of the chick from the club talking about drea okay meatmagazine.blogspot.com meat magazine on youtube